some lady came and grabbed me and said, you got to talk to this guy. My, my, uh, I think it was her father-in-law is a rabbi at, from the church, uh, from the church, the synagogue in Sterot, which is right on the Gazan border and was one of the towns that was invaded by the Hamas fighters on October 7th. And so she took me over there to meet and talk to him. And he's telling me a story. He was in the synagogue on October 7th, which is right next to the, where the police station was. And the, he heard the shooting outside, like major shooting. So he went running outside and he saw the police like hiding behind their cars, shooting at the Hamas fighters. And the Hamas fighters were advancing down the street on him and shooting back. And the police were terribly outnumbered. And so he turned to run back into the synagogue and one of the Hamas fighters shot him in the back and it hit him right below the shoulder blade back here, went right through his chest and came out right here. Okay. On like, like hit him right where his heart was and came out right where his heart was. And when he eventually got to the hospital and they did a CAT scan and everything, they found out that the bullet actually went around his heart and then came out, did not, did not touch his heart. Suffice it to say, it was a miracle. Without a doubt, it was a miracle. This guy got literally shot, should have killed him immediately. He waited an hour bleeding out while the, you know, the battle raged all around him. A suicide bomber ran into that police station across the street from his synagogue and blew himself up and flattened a two-story building. The whole, whole police station was just a pile of rubble killed a ton of people in there and uh, he listened to all that watched it out the glass doors or the the doors of the the synagogue and was eventually driven to the hospital in his own car by one of his friends uh, three weeks later he walked out of that hospital and now you wouldn't you wouldn't believe anything had ever happened to him he looks like he's ready to go play football it's amazing it's an absolute miracle and uh, we heard more stories like that when I went to Barzillai Hospital in Ashkelon, the same hospital that treated him, from the trauma surgeon that we interviewed. She said, we see this all the time. Like, people come in here with injuries that in the Bronx, where I worked in New York, would have been life-ending injuries. They would have been dead. We, they would be rolling a cadaver in here. And they come in here with injuries like that, and we go back and we look at the scans and it's like the bullets go out of their way to miss vital organs. It's, it's unbelievable. She, I, we just see miracles every day here. It's crazy. So you can call that a coincidence if you want. But I happen to believe that we have a sovereign God who is powerful enough to do that if he so chooses. And he's also even more powerful than that. Sure, he can make the bullet go around your heart. He can make the bullet miss you. He could make the guy never fire the bullet if he wanted to. My name is Ersel Shaoubi. Okay. I'm the rabbi of the synagogue in, in Zderot. The synagogue is nearby the police station. Mm -hmm. I came in the morning. Uh, October 7th. Uh, 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 October 7th. And... Uh, Suddenly I heard shooting. I stand myself, what is the? I didn't believe that it can be terrorist of Hamas, but uh, I went to uh, go out to see what happened. Then I say, I see, I saw the police near the, by the police station. There is shooting and many, many people running saying tsa, yelling. So uh, I, I told myself that it's not for me. And I tried to go again to the, my synagogue and then the, one the terrorist of Hamas shoot me. The bullet came in my gut. Came out. out your chest. I have a big jet really? damage in, in all the... I have a, I was very lucky because it's nearby house, Man, little. Amazing. So uh, I have no to, what, what to, to do. I running to the, with all the, the, running to the synagogue, I make a film. 
Well, phone call to the, the emergency. They said, why oh, are we coming? I didn't believe that in all the road there are many terrorists and they're shooting. So I was staying one hour. And my, my blood go out and go out. And I have uh, how to do some. So, uh, did you I, did you think you would die? Did you think that you were you well, would die? Oh, no, of course, my Israel. Well, but, but and then I I decide to to talk with God. I did God, please. I want to be, to live. I want to be a rabbi of the synagogue. I want to make many mitzvot and think to help people. Leave me, I want to live. So, so suddenly my friend came, came. So she, he said, what happened? I told him, the terrorist shot me. He, sh he saw it, what, what, what were you doing? What, what about the emergency? I said that I am staying one hour and not emergency. So my lucky was that my car was uh, near the synagogue. I give him the key of the, my gag. He take me to an emergency of the road. In your car? In my car, right. <laughs> the, the, my, very lucky for me. Oh, it's a miracle. It's okay, a miracle. Okay, miracle. So I arrived to the emergency. They took me to the hospital. And then after they make the polim, uh, I, go, well, I was in the in hospital of Ashkelon. By one day, another day, they took me to the uh, hospital of Tel Ashomer. So you were in Barzillai Hospital? Barzillai Hospital. Uh -huh. And then after, where I was around two weeks in Tel Ashomer Hospital, I have an operation. Uh, I, it's hard to me to, to talk. To, uh, mm -hmm. But Baruch Hashem, I model um, Baruch Hu to God that they give me a life. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing. And uh, it, you look like you're ready to go play uh, football. People don't, don't, don't believe that I will shoot. Oh, you, you, you look very good. It, you, yes, you look uh, but, very good. Right. But, uh, uh, amazing, okay. amazing.